My friends, what is shaking out there in the good world of angling, fly fishing community. I hope you're ready to smash that skinny pedal. We're geared up for another edition of Beyond the Fly here. Season four, my friends, episode three. Get you some of this. It's like my third or fourth pair of sunglasses I've fished out of a river. Throw that in today's non-sponsored video. The Home Depot. You too can be a handyman. Boink. Oh, really bummed that I missed that first hook set, but that's just how it goes. Got a few nerves going here. Gotta get settled down, breathe. Keep our mechanics in check. Pretty happy we're ticking bottom. So we just need to get it right in front of a, right in front of a fishy's face. See what we can do here. Kind of like the stretch coming off. Big old mayfly right there hatching, that's cool. Keep an eye out for anything coming to the top and feeding, they may be looking up. Oh, no. I'm, Getting all bow tangled here. There's some pucky, some bottom pucky. Dredging bottom, but that's good. That's what we want. calm here that's a nice fish a little head shake there i think we got a good hook set a little, thun a little thunder in the background my friend that's a beautiful fish right to the net thank you very much look at that guy thank you thank you thank you that's cool gosh dang that is exciting right there all right here we go my friends we're back at it and uh that storm system has moved on. Dropped a little bit of moisture, some lightning. We got birds out. We got hatch and mole going on. Good old mayflies coming off top. But we're just gonna slowly work up this nice glide. I mean, this thing is just fantastic. So lots of water we can we can check out. We can work from the, the bank, from the edge, out towards it. Change our depth up, change our wait if we need to but i'm just going to keep stepping it up and pick this apart see if we can't find another fish to come and play with us today there he is i seen him that time a lot of head shake that's a lot nicer fish oh yeah it's a nice fish he's gonna he's gonna try to get us off of there try not to do anything dumb just give him a second to calm down Get control of that head, get him up on the top here. That's a nice fish. Net is back behind me. Do not come off of there, my friend. Look at that guy. Look at that guy, fantastic. Thank you so much. All this debris coming down, I can watch all of it. There's my indicator. I think everything is passing me. So that's what we want. That's what I'm after is I just want it to slowly pass. And uh, I feel good about that. So I feel good about my speed. I really like my depth because I know I'm taking bottom because I've got to check about every fourth, fifth cast. I got to check my flies on the bottom. And so that's always a really good sign right there that we're ticking bottom because that's where we want. That's where those fish are at right now. And uh, so I really, really like our setup. 
far as things here at the channel, there's so much new going on. It's ridiculous. Uh, new laptop to edit the videos on. New software, so I've been trying to learn how to do that. That's just been a thrill, my friends, let me tell you. I want to take care of these fish because they are taking care of me so I can be able to uh, get some good therapy, some good fly fishing therapy, as I like to call it. And they're helping me so I can put videos together, which really motivated and feeling really good. It was brutal winter. <sighs> Trying to just get over all the crud that was going around. Uh, thank goodness I have my doctors that I've got kept me alive. Got really scary, but I think we're, uh, we have got a major leg up on this battle with Lyme disease. I mean, we've made leaps and bounds between the doctors and acupuncturists and all the people that I've got on my team, my family, we're doing really well. We're still full-time RVing and we absolutely are loving that. Happy to be out here finally filming, finally getting on some water and enjoying this warmer weather. That has really tremendously helped my body out greatly. Get out of the cold so my body's got a good chance to heal and they can get a little more aggressive with the medicine. That's exactly what they've been doing and it's working like a champ be a good time to run through the rig real quick. I've got uh, roughly about four feet from my indicator down there to my weight. I got two O6s on there with some JP's nymphing mug. There's our first beadhead beta imitation and here's our second one that we've got and that's really about it my friends. Pretty simple setup today. Got a little bit of a bent hook there on that one. So good thing we stopped to talk about this. That could end up being disastrous for us. A lot of head shake. A lot of head shake here. This guy. Get him up. Oh, yeah. Oh, lost him. Damn, my friends, that is it. That is a wrap for episode three. Holy crap, that was a good one. I am speechless. Just everything clicked. The water, the weather. Uh, this wind is getting a little bit brutal. It's done wore out the energy I got. It is time to skedaddle, go home and squeeze the family. I really, really enjoyed my time on the water today and visiting this place. Hope you enjoyed the footage and the fish you got to see. We met some beautiful ones today, my friends. Brown trout all day long. So for this episode, I'm signing off. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for tuning in to another Beyond the Fly. Man, snakes for days. Ah, I guess that's good luck. We're gonna go around said critter. Big old water snake. That's like four in the last couple days I've seen. Gotta mean some kind of good luck or something. But anyhow, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button, that like button, leave a comment. Try to get back to each and every one of you and uh, appreciate everybody contributing to the channel and the community. 
Hopefully you can hear this audio. That wind is out of control. Talk to you later, my friends. See you in the next episode.